I'm going to ask and beg and plead, share this, share this, share this, share this, share this, share this again and again and again. Tag people in it as quickly as you possibly can. Um, probably the number one reason I'm asking of that is because an individual that I spoke with now elect uh, Senator Green, uh, Mark Green here locally to my community, has been willing to step forward and speak out and at least answer the questions posed by a woman at a town hall meeting um, in reference to uh, vaccines and autism. Um, the causal association, the fact that the CDC, and he willfully and willingly brought forward the information to the public at that moment in time, his knowledge of the CDC whistleblower, his knowledge that the CDC is not being completely truthful or upfront or transparent, as he would call it, uh, with data that shows a causal association of between vaccines and autism. If you TWD right now in the comments, uh, because I'm going to be just speaking um, from my heart and, and what I want to do to uh, help this man um, in this situation, I, I um, help him get into it. We need to help and support him. There are town hall meetings. You'll have links to that TWD in the comments to get the links to anything that I'm referencing throughout this entire um, video. Uh, or as much as I can, and at least as much as my team uh, had prepped for you. Um, but again, town hall meetings, be there. I will be there this evening, 7 p.m. here in my local hometown, Clarksville. Um, I am going to be supporting him. Uh, we need to support him. Listen, if you are in the know, if you are you have realized the corruption that's taking place within the medical community, within the government agencies like the FDA and the CDC, I have detailed that many a times in the past. The CDC owns patents on vaccines. They make massive sums of money. They just take this for instance. And guys, if you could post that, I don't know. Remember that one I did about the, uh, the healthcare woman of the year? It was yeah. Julie Gerberding. If you can get that link to them as well, I don't know if you can put it in the bot or not, or if we have to. If we can do this, my staff are going to try and get you another one. I just thought of it. The fact, this is one simple example, and I'll be bringing this to the attention of Dr. Mark Green, um, for the fact, and Senator Mark Green, for the fact that Julie Gerberding, the head of the CDC at the moment in time when the CDC did its fraudulent research saying that the vaccines were not causing autism, specifically the MMR vaccine. She worked for the CDC. She was the head of the CDC at the time when Dr. William Thompson was hired by the CDC, worked with other researchers, and he has now come forward in 2015 saying, we committed fraud back then. We lied back then. He was removed from being the spokesperson for the information. Not allowed to speak to others. He said, we got a big old garbage can and threw data away. We destroyed it. That showed the connection between vaccines and autism. Because he knew that was a violation of the FOIA Act, the Freedom of Information Act, he said, I will not do that. He saved all those files. He gave those files over to uh, Senator Posey of Florida. Back in 2015, folks, he gave those files over showing that he and his colleagues committed fraud. Thank God Mark Green is actually going to speak out on this. But Julie Gerberding, guess what? The head of the CDC at the time, who basically is the director of the fraudulent research, because she's the director of the CDC for which that organization, he even brought the information to her and said, we're committing fraud. This isn't right. And guess what she did? Says, be quiet. I've got a nice comfy job coming to me as soon as I get out of the CDC. I'll go from the head of the CDC to the head of Merck's vaccine division. Guess who makes the only MMR vaccine given in the United States? Merck does. And she went from the head of the CDC to working for Merck at the head of the vaccine division and given stock, millions and millions of dollars in stock after she left the CDC. This revolving door has got to stop unacceptable, no tolerance whatsoever. Our government officials need to pass the laws that we, the people of this nation, believe need to happen right now. No more revolving door between the FDA, the CDC, any, any medical government agency should say, I bar all of our, you are here for a public servant position. You are not here for profit in the raising up of yourself. You will not become a millionaire 
because you're not getting a job with the big pharmaceutical companies after you do what they pay you to do. They may pay you up front, but your paycheck comes after you lied. That's exactly what happened with Julie Gerberding. All right, I said I was not going to get fired up, didn't I? Sorry about that. But folks, if you want to see it, you know, the links you can see for yourself. TWD and the links if you want direct links to the things that I'm talking about. But also just C-SPAN, C-SPAN, Senator Posey, CDC whistleblower, watch it. See, what I did is I sat down with Mark Green and I showed him the video. Because I was sick and tired of something like this. And what's ironic, extremely ironic to me, is I go on the Leaf Chronicle, the media outlet that is sitting here saying such uh, unacceptable things. Let me read you one of the Leaf Chronicles, their article. Here's what they published, 1103 today, right? The 12th is today, is that right? Yes. So today, holy cow, that's crazy. That's four minutes later. Wow. You'll be learning about stuff like that later. Not right now. But folks, this is, we need to support, get to these town meetings. Ask the same questions. In fact, don't ask the same question with a, with a, a persona or a, a, a spirit of like, why aren't you doing something? Say, thank you. Stand up and say, thank you, Mark Green, for what you're doing. Thank you for, per, for putting your <clears throat> popularity on the line. See, this is what we need to do. We need to just point out the ridiculousness ridiculousness of the people like Natalie Allison. If you're going to write something like this, why don't you actually look into his claims? You could have Googled it, Natalie. Why am I getting upset? Because her first sentence literally starts immediately saying, Mark Green isn't right. CDC data shows vaccines don't cause autism. As <clears throat> a soon-to-be congressman from Tennessee told constituents Tuesday he believed vaccines may be causing autism. No, he said, there may be. He said, they may be. He didn't say, I believe they cause that autism. He says, there may be evidence for that. That's what he said. You already lied in the first sentence. You manipulated his statements. His statements didn't say, I believe vaccines cause autism. Mark Green's statement said, I believe the data hasn't been transparent and there's a possibility of lies going on that they're covering up data, that they're fraudulently doing studies. That's what he said. Your first statement wants people not to read anything further than that, just all the pro-vaccine people out there to sit there and say, oh, great, another anti-vaxxer, somebody who believes what the CDC has proven to not be correct. Well, if you would actually just Google it, Natalie, Google this for me, C-SPAN, Senator Posey, CDC whistleblower. Watch the video that Mark Green is using right now to say that there needs to be at least suspicion, at least be suspicious. If you have a senior scientist at the CDC coming forward and saying, hey, I committed fraud and my colleagues committed fraud, and now the head of the CDC that used to employ me now and told me to be quiet now works <clears throat> for the maker of that vaccine that we actually protected. Huh? Why don't you actually do some real newscasting, real investigation? Denying data from the Centers for Disease Control and other institutions disproving such a theory. He said, I believe vaccines cause autism. Well, the CDC says, uh, no, it doesn't. And so does other uh, associations, you know, medical associations. Yeah. Um, actually, do you see the manipulation by the media? That just downright evil, flat out evil. Manipulate Mark Green's words and then sit there and say the data from the CDC denies what Mark Green said. Actually, Mark Green was saying, I'm afraid the CDC might be lying to people. Well, it just so happens it's actually in the PubMed peer-reviewed medical literature. British Medical Journal, folks, right here. Look at this. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Protecting the Private Good. Read this article. It's unbelievable. The CDC... So the CDC, our planners and our content experts wish to disclose they have no financial interests or other relationships with the manufacturer's commercial products. Oh, so G Julie Gerberding, she didn't have financial relationships with Merck, who now she owns massive amounts of stock and has actually cashed in on that and become a millionaire basically overnight after leaving the CDC. So she, okay, this is on the CDC's website, folks. 
CDC does not accept commercial support. You are flat out lying. Despite the agency's disclaimer, they receive no financial uh, you know, uh, support from commercial interests like vaccine manufacturers and others. The CDC does not receive millions of, the CDC does receive millions of dollars in industry gifts and funding, both directly and indirectly. CDC, you are lying on your website about whether you receive money or not. It's in the peer reviewed medical literature. And that's what Mark Green was basically saying. He says, I don't trust the transparency of the CDC. It is well documented that they are willing to lie to protect industry. That's the whole issue. I don't care if you're pro-vaccine, you're against vaccine. If you would take every one of them every day for the rest of your life because you believe that much in them, go ahead and do so. That's your right. But the reality is, your right is also to know 100% the truth about vaccines, about their safety, about their effectiveness. And that's what you're not getting. But that's what you deserve as a human being and a child of God. And that's what I'm trying to give you. But people will chastise and condemn Mark Green or others like me and others in this community who are speaking out and willing to go against the grain, willing to go against the cultural norm to accept vaccines and every single thing the CDC pushes down our throat. That should open your eyes and make you think the man, a doctor, is literally saying, I'm going to speak up, say what I suspect. At least he's saying, I suspect there may not be transparency there. That the data may have been fraudulently created. That the claim that vaccines don't cause autism may have been all fraud. And yet, people in our media, in our community, who supposedly bring us the news, like Leaf Chronicle, sits here and says... Mark Green is saying the CDC might not be truthful with us, but the CDC's data, the one Mark Green is actually saying might be lying, says the same thing. It's, so we're basically saying, so, so Natalie here, the author of this in the Nashville, Tennessee, in the Leaf Chronicle here, Natalie Allison says, um, Mark Green, I'm not going to tell you what he's really saying, but I will later in the article. But I'm saying he believes vaccines cause autism. No, that's not exactly what he said. Anyways, but she's saying Mark Green is saying he has suspicion that the CDC is lying. So he has solid evidence when you have a sworn testimony whistleblower, a senior scientist at CDC, saying I lied and I committed fraud. So he's basically saying the CDC has scientists, they're, being, they're accusing the CDC of lying to people about the safety of vaccines. And meanwhile, we have Natalie Allison in the media saying, you know what, um, I'm going to believe the liar. The one accused of lying, I'm just going to believe their word. So basically, I accuse this entity of lying, and then people are going to be like, well, I'm going to believe the, the one you're saying is a liar. Just flat out. I'm just going to believe them. I'm going to believe what the data says that they gave me that their scientist is saying was a lie. Yeah, you're brilliant. You're really, really brilliant. Great, great investigation there, Natalie. And listen, Natalie may be a good person. Maybe she has no clue. Maybe she's bought and paid for too. Maybe she's brainwashed just like it seems every single other person out there in the media. They're either bought or brainwashed. One of the two. It, it comes down to that. You're bought or brainwashed if you're full on like, I'm not even going to look into the claims of suspicion of fraud. I don't even care about that. I just want to see. Um, I just want to say vaccines are safe and effective and this is another anti-vaxxer. We should get them out of office. We can't have them there, right? That's what you want to say. Oh, yeah, Paul Thorson. Always got to mention him. Paul Thorson, OIG fugitive. That's another senior scientist at the CDC who was data coordinator for several studies. He is a wanted felon by our U.S. government. For what? Oh, for CDC had awarded grant money. So CDC gave him a bunch of money for research involving infant disabilities, autism, and genetic disorders, and fetal alcohol syndrome. CDC awarded the grant funds to a study relationship between autism and exposure to vaccines, the relationship between cerebral palsy and infection during pregnancy. Developmental disorders or developmental outcomes and fetal alcohol exposure. Thorson worked in visiting scientists at the CDC Division of Birth Defects and Developmental Disabilities before the grant was awarded. The initial grant was awarded. It goes through all of that. Guess what? For the research he did for the CDC, 
He was receiving a bunch of money, and somehow the CDC didn't realize that a bunch of millions of dollars were going into his pocket, into his bank account directly from the CDC, in which, if you listen to Senator Posey again, it's basically they laundered the money for him. The CDC was willing to allow him to keep taking money and funds off the top, skimming a little off the top, you know, getting a little of that icing, that million dollars of icing the CDC seems to have to give their researchers, as long as Dr. Thompson, or Thorson, Paul was giving them out, oh, look, it says, okay, I, I did this to the study, it makes it look like the vaccines don't cause autism. As long as he did that, he got all the money he wanted. One fugitive, CDC is willing to use their research as gold fact. You know, it's fact, look, vaccines don't cause autism. So, all right, now that I can calm down a little bit, maybe I'll actually go through here. So. Like again, they do, she does mention, Natalie does mention, fraudulently manage the data. I have commented to people, uh, in, I, have committed, I have committed people in my community up in Montgomery County to stand on the CDC's desk. Where's it at? I'm going to jump on that sucker. Stand on it. I'm not just going to stand on it. I'm going to do a dance with my heels and get my cowboy boots on, knock everything off. Because junk anyways, everything they have on top of the desk, it's the stuff in the trash can that actually matters that would tell us something. The stuff's on the desk, it's fraud. It's lies. The stuff in the trash can, I like that. We, need, we shouldn't be on top of the desk. We need to be digging through the trash can and the dumpster out back. Because that's where the lies of our children are. That's where the, where the safety and data that would have saved millions of lives from being brain damaged by vaccines, that's where it's at. I'll go dumpster diving. I have committed people in my community, CDC deaths, get the real data on vaccines because there is some concern that the rise in autism is the result of the preservatives that are in our vaccines. Now, it will come upon more and more information brought to him. I believe Mark Green will understand it. it's not just the preservatives at all. It's not preservatives, adjuvants. It's the manner in which, it's the timing. Shoot, we know that developmental disabilities can occur if you have immune stimulation before the age of a couple months. What do we do on day one with the hepatitis B vaccine? We stimulate the brand new baby's immune system. God was brilliant, said, I want breastfeeding moms to actually provide immune cells so that baby's immune system doesn't have to be activated. It's mom's immune system that does it. So that baby's brain couldn't have an excess inflammation. It was brilliant. So just that type of study. It's massive information giving us the evidence we need with anyone who, have common, who has common sense if they look at it and look at it in the entire entire picture, despite calls by the anti-vaccination movement for parents to stop vaccinating, for parents not to vaccinate their children against a number of diseases. CDC data, the liars, the ones Mark Green is actually pointing the finger at saying there's a possibility they're lying to us. Natalie, Lee Chronicle, Tennessean, they say, hey, look, the, the liar's information. You're saying they lied, but I'm telling you the liar says it's safe. What? Are you serious? <laughs> the liar data, the liar's data disproves movement's findings. Yes. Mm -hmm. Through multiple studies, the CDC, the liar, the one being accused of lying, has found no link. The American Academy of Pediatrics also reiterates that. So they, they just, the AP just simply repeats what the CDC says. They didn't do any of their own actual research. Claims the vaccines are linked to autism or are unsafe when administered according to the recommended schedule have been disproven by a robust body of medical literature. Really? This is two of the American Academy of Pediatrics doctors last year. I could bring you a statement like that. Oh, man, I wonder if I could find it that quick. There it is. So here we go. This is a 238-page report by the IOM Institute of Medicine saying what? Let's read it here for you, folks. Since the American Academy of Pediatrics says that it is bad and the data says it's safe, it's bad to not do the recommended schedule and it's completely safe, available evidence is reassuring, but it is also fragmentary and inconclusive on many issues. So what are they stating there? If you read the entire thing, guess what? 238 page report, they'll basically say, we don't really have a lot of data. We don't really have proper safety studies. We don't have vaccinated versus unvaccinated actual controlled studies to look at the true harms, the causal association. 
We don't have that, and we won't look at it. And it would be just, uh, it wouldn't be good to not give a vaccine if somebody went to a doctor's office. Because if they're going to give a HPV vaccine over here, we've got to give them aluminum vaccine over here. Oh, wait, aluminum vaccine? Well, there's not even aluminum being injected in children. doesn't actually protect against anything at all. But that's how they did the safety studies. Folks, if you want to tell me to do something for my child, and I ask, how safe is it? And you say to me, according to looking at all the available data, and the Institute of Medicine themselves says it, well, the data on it is, I think, reassuring, but it's also fragmentary and inconclusive on many issues. Huh? Wait, what? Wait. Something that's fragmentary on whether it's safe or not, the data on whether something's safe is fragmentary and inconclusive on many of those issues, that is not real reassuring to me, I would tell you. So I'm not re reassured by your assurance of fragmentary and inconclusive evidence. Yeah. So IOM, I can't get you that report right now unless my staff would. I'll leave it up here so my staff will get you some of these links. Let's go on. Green emphasized that he would make it a priority to stand against what he believes may be the CDC withholding information on vaccine research. Thank you, thank you, God. Pray a hedge of protection over this man. Stand up and stand by his side. People, if you are on this movement right now, we need people to show up. I'm going to give you one example that really ticked me off, and I'm going to tell you why it ticked me off. And this may tick other people off. And I understand my wife stays at home with my two kids, our two kids, my two kids, our two kids. More like her two kids. She's the one taking care of them most of the time. But the reality is, so she allows me to do a lot of what I'm doing, enables me to do what I'm doing. So I understand a lot of stay-at-home moms are the ones fighting this fight. And they can't always leave their home. They can't always go out and do the things. But we need to. We need to find a way. I told my wife, we need there to be there as a family to support Mark Green tonight at 7 p.m. in my local town, Clarksville, Tennessee. I don't care if you bring the kids, bring the kids, because it's about them. What he does today in the next year, the next several years in Congress will determine whether we can keep our children safe against corruption or not. If we don't stand by his side right now, praying over him, standing there physically with him, if we just let everybody else, trust me, there are a lot of pro-vaxxers going to be at these meetings, and they're going to just hammer him. The vultures are going to be out there to pick him apart. If we're not there ready to fight for him and with him, how can we ever expect any other senators, any other Congress members to do the same? If they're going to pick him apart in media like this, and we don't get on social media and do what we can to hammer people, and I'm saying write the Leaf Chronicle, write the Tennessean, call out Natalie, phone calls nonstop to these media outlets. Just send them the CDC whistleblower video, C-SPAN. We got the link, TWD, in the comments right now. Get that link. Send it to them. Say, hey, this is what Mark Green's talking about. You have a senior scientist who confessed to lying. We shouldn't stop saying that over and over again, hammering that. They haven't done anything about it. All they've done is let time silence us. Not all of us, but a lot of us. A lot of, and it's not like we're all being silent. I'm not harping on you guys. Please don't get, but the reality is we haven't stayed strong enough to keep repeating it loud and clear. And we are winning. We are doing the right things. We are bringing, we're turning heads. We are waking people up. We're winning. But to me, I'm like, I'm every day, every morning, I wake up and I'm like, I haven't done enough. I didn't do enough yesterday. I didn't do enough the other day. I could have done something. I didn't do anything. I didn't read a study. I could have. I'm hard on myself as well. I'm just saying we need to do more and we especially need to show up. And I say that and it breaks my heart that I wasn't at the last ACIP meeting. I'll tell you, people are watching this right now and I guarantee some of them are like, Dale, you should have been there. I know I should have been, and I'm sorry. No more excuses. We're doing what we got to do. Folks, I was at a school board meeting here in my local town. Mothers begging me to go to a local school board meeting. My kids aren't in the school. On Fort Campbell, demand that the people in that board meeting look at the research showing the flu vaccine was going to do what it did last year and kill more children than ever recorded in history. I told them that with the research said it was not useful, it wasn't effective, it was causing harm. They ignored me. There wasn't a single other parent that was there that begged me to be there. I understand that family, it's tough. 
But if we don't show up and we leave people who are willing to put themselves out there like Mark Green has right here, guess what? When he's picked apart by the vultures and he becomes silent again and he falls in line just like every single other senator and representative, what can we expect? We weren't there to pick him up when he needed us to support him. And the reality is this, what is so ironic to me, look at how ironic this is. I click on the Leaf Chronicle, and this isn't me. Listen, he keeps telling me, this image right here is now our local mayor, Clarksville, Tennessee. I have no problem calling people out, because the reality is if you're not going to speak to me man to man, and you're not going to do what you should have done three years ago, you want to get me pissed off? When I brought the evidence, and I brought the video, and I told Sen Joe Pitts, I told him, I said, there's a CDC scientist who's confessed to fraud. Look it up. C-SPAN, Senator Posey, watch the video. He called me back. He said, I'll get right on that. I care about our children. He said, I'll look into this, and I'll get back with you. A couple months go by, nothing. I call him, no answer. I called him multiple times over and over again saying, where are you at on this? When are we going to talk about it? Nothing. Sadly, just what the rest of government is doing, saying we're not going to do anything about it, we're not going to look at it, we're going to ignore it, act like they aren't there. I did what he wanted me to do, and I remained silent. I didn't keep going. I didn't keep pushing on him. I went somewhere else and did what I could. But the reality is, I pray this man sees this video and stands up like he should have three years ago. Joe, do what is righteous in the eyes of the Lord, in the eyes of our community. Do what is right for the community, right for the children. He said he looked it up because I met him in public one time. He said, I looked it up, but I didn't believe you because I couldn't find anything validating what you said. Well, did you look at the congressional videography? It's video in Congress. The floor of Congress. You're a con state. You're not federal. I'm sorry. You don't get to watch the Congress on the federal level. I'm sorry. I didn't mean maybe you don't get to do that. I have no tolerance for this because the lives of our children are suffering as a result of silence and complacency. This man should have stood up three years ago. He didn't. Now he's our mayor. At least he stepped down in government. But I find it extremely highly ironic when I come to talk on this subject, his picture is plastered all over Leaf Chronicle. The man who didn't have the guts to do and even look into the fact. He's told me multiple times when I've seen him out in public, I still owe you a phone call. The CDC is lying about the safety of vaccines, thus causing brain damage, disabling children. Those children, owe, you owe them your time, not me. You don't owe me a dang thing. Intolerance is what it takes at this moment in time. For the people, it don't matter, me or government. If you're going to sit here and ignore the fact, you're going to sit here and say vaccines are safe and effective, the CDC says so, when well, we're sitting there putting it in your face, saying the CDC is lying and we have the evidence and proof of that, no one confesses to lying unless they have proof that they were lying originally. He's not going to make millions from the anti-vaccination movement saying, I lied, I'm a researcher, I'm going to billions if not millions. He could have done exactly what Julie Gerberding has done, gone to work for Merck afterwards, kept on with his lies, not done the righteous thing, and came forward and told the truth. I'm sorry I'm pissed off about this, folks. And I know that my mic is probably like, the microphone is probably like skipping and we're good? It's coming good? Hopefully it's far enough away from my throat that it doesn't... Golly. I mean, I don't... Like, people ask me, you shouldn't get so angry. I'm like, I don't know how anybody else doesn't get as angry and pissed off as I am. The fact that such things... When you're taking advantage of sick and suffering people, and then you're taking advantage of the trust of the individuals who have had faith in you and trust in you to do what is right and righteous for their children, how dare you? Do such an evil thing. You are taking advantage of people. You are harming people. And then you're turning around and saying, it wasn't me that harmed your child with that vaccine. Now come and take your drugs from me.